coming to the Elizabethan age, 1558 to 1603. The Elizabethan era is a part of Tudor literature but needs a special discussion as this is considered to be one of the most glorious ages of the English literature. Prosperity and peace prevailed in England under the rule of the Queen Elizabeth I as the external and internal unrest came to an end. England became the ultimate power after the defeat of a Spanish Armada in the year 1588. Literature flourished very well under these Elizabethan circumstances. The initial Elizabethan poets were all courtiers of the Queen Elizabeth. Sir Philip Sidney, Walter Raleigh and Spencer glorified Queen Elizabeth in their poetry and established the spirit of Renaissance through their writings. Poetry in the form of sonnets were written by Samuel Daniel, Michael Drayton, Edmund Spencer and William Shakespeare. Drama emerged as a major genre during the Elizabethan era, beginning with Sackville and Norton's first English tragedy, Gobbledyck, and Gascoigne's first wrote the English comedy, Supposes. Drama began to take shape through the works of the university wits, who were a group of university-educated men, wrote drama, poetry, prose, were the predecessors of Shakespeare. University wits included John Lilly, Kidd, Nash, Lodge, Peel, Robert Greene and Christopher Marlowe. The drama reached to its best through the works of William Shakespeare, whose plays began during the Elizabethan era and lasted till the Jacobian period. Ben Jonson, Francis Bayamont, John Fletcher, William Messenger and James Shirley were the contemporaries of Shakespeare. Some of the prose writers of the Elizabethan era were William Painter, Raphael Holinshed, Richard Hucklett, Richard Hooker, William Webb and George Putnam.